Hi everyone. Looking a little different tonight. It's um, welcome to my mini vlogmas number two and mixing it with my mask Monday ladies. So I can kind of get both of them done and still be kind of short. I'm using this mask that I probably got in my very first FabFitFun that I put away and forgot about. And it is still very, very moist, but man, a shevitz, is this not uh, holding at all on my chin? And um, I thought it was going to be a black one because it said charcoal, so I just assumed charcoal masks were black. But it's this charcoal spa treatment one, Shaban. And this is about two years old. There's probably an expiration date on it someplace, but... Um, yeah, one of the eyes wasn't even cut out. I had to cut open one of the eyes. So, yeah, I was a, not a hot mess, but an, an ucky mess in the other room for quite a bit. I'm also using the eye mask, the um, Grace and Stella. These gold eye masks that I've got underneath. And this is probably not going to stay on for the rest of this. But I'm just going to go for a little bit, and then I'm going to turn it off. I think I'm just going to try to put my head down and let this kind of soak in but anyway welcome to vlogmas number two i hope everybody is having a great week and i've just got a few things and oh my gosh last night was my first mini vlogmas and i went to take out that little uh, k-cup coffee i am sorry if i poked anybody's eyes out you know what it reminded me of remember like back in the 70s when they came up with the 3d movies like friday the 13th and part three and 3d and jaws in 3d Imagine if I had a 3D camera. That would have been awesome. But anyway, and my house smells amazing. I am using this red berry and spruce. And oh my gosh, this is so good. It's like cranberries, raspberries, and then like blue spruce. And it's just, oh my God, this is so good. This is out of stock already. But because it was a limited edition and it's still on showing on the website site, put it in my Scentsy Club so I can get a few more to stock up. Not that I really need to stock up with a little bit more on it, but I like it, so I'm going to do that. And uh, the coffee that I pulled last night was uh, peppermint, and it was a really light peppermint, so it didn't have any mocha in it at all. It was just straight, uh, like mint, kind of like a mint tea, but coffee. But it was a very light blend, and it just, it was really good, so I did like it. The one tonight is going to be... Christmas cookie and I don't want to have a replay of last night so I'm going to try to whoops I'm gonna to try to pop it up right here on my hand aha got it so I will be trying that after my mask and um, I got my sensei calendar and I think these sold out pretty fast too it's like either they people just make a lot that sits there forever or it's so limited that not enough people get a chance to do it. Alrighty, so just opened up door number two and it's another Scentsy wax bar. So this is kind of like between two and three cubes of a regular Scentsy one. So it's a really nice sample. We get uh, we get these in our whiff box and usually it's like the sample. Let me do this. So it's usually like the sample of the next month. And this I know I bought, I lost my napkin. Oh, didn't, I didn't show you, it's Dancing Sugar Plum. And this is really a beautiful fragrance. It's a really, really sweet fragrance. So if you don't like the uh, sweet fruits, it's not for you, but I, I'm kind of all over the place. I like the fruits, I like the, uh, the florals, I just like the herbal herbal ones and things so i just like all different kinds but this is nice so it's like spice plums i can smell vanilla uh, maybe it's like cinnamon apples sweet cinnamon apples some vanilla and spice plums it's really really sweet kind of makes you want to go and have something really sweet but i don't know what i want now oh yeah i got wine so um, I get that, and let me take out my Lindor truffle. And because I had so much trouble with this, you'll probably hear my friend tell me that my 20 minutes is up. So if it is, I'll just shut it off and then come back. And I 
adjunct. I didn't get an advent calendar, but I do have my Lindt, Lindor, these truffles. So I've got one pulled for later. And I've got my wine. And I had such trouble with this. I had to go in and pry it out with a knife. So it's this holiday wine countdown calendar. And there it is. And there's number two at the bottom. So let me shut this off. Um, I'll go take that out, get it ready to pour in my glass. And um, I'll wait for my friend to tell me my 20 minutes is up and then I will be, be back so that I can drink it without this uh, going in my mouth. Alrighty, I'll be right back, ladies. When I find the button, the stupid button. All right, so that was a fast 20 minutes. And so let's take my mask off. Hopefully this went pretty quick. My eye uh, patches stayed really nice. I wonder if I should leave them on a little bit longer. They really feel feel nice. Let me rub this in. I didn't have much serum right there over my face, over my nose, or under my nose, but over my lips, yeah. I'll take them off. Yeah, but by the end of the 20 minutes, the mask was just pretty much hanging off my face right here. It didn't stick to my chin at all. So, but of course I know it was old, so. But I feel glad because I finally used it up and I used it without throwing it out. And even if it wasn't perfect, I think it was okay. Alrighty, got my napkin, wipe my fingers off, and let's get into the wine. Alright, let me put my glasses on so I can see. Of course, they're all full of a mass serum. Alrighty. So um, after this sets in, um, and I think this. I can still feel quite a bit of more um, serum in here. So I'll probably, after my video, squeeze some more out and put it on my face. And then I'll put on my moisturizer and my under eye cream, my Lancer under eyes cream, my Lancer moisturizer. And because I didn't exfoliate, I'm gonna use a um, little bit of this doctor. Oh, his name washed off, I think. Well, actually this is, I thought it was Dr. Brand, but it's Ella Frida. Right now. So I started using it the same time as that Dr. Brandt. I just assumed it was the same one. That's from that same Fab Fit Fun box. So anyway, the wine that I pulled out, it's a Pinot Grigio from Italy, and I love Pinot Grigio. So it's uh it says Lassini Pinot Grigio, and there is enough wine in here to get really two good sized glasses. You know, I really had to force myself, but yeah, I drank all the wine last night. And um, it does tell you a little bit about it. I mean, they've got some writing on the back, but it's just so shiny. Of course, that ring light's right there, but it's really hard to read. Um, and so today, instead of my nutcracker, um, oh, you can't see. But um, because I'm wearing kind of like this kind of animal type print, I got my Robin with a wine with a Y wine glass with her Swarovski bling and her animal print. So loving these wine glasses too. So let's open up this wine and see what it's all about. Alrighty, so it says get ready to go on, to go all naturally. Oh crap, it's hard to open this time. Yesterday wasn't this hard. So get ready to go on an all natural, ugh, why can't I say that? Get ready to go all natural with an adventurous wine exploration through the untainted Lassini Mountains of Italy. Cultivated by winemakers with a deep love for mother nature, each glass of this crisp Pinot Grease encapsulates, I'm gonna have to go get something to open this. You wouldn't think it would be this hard. Each glass. I need Patrick's guns. Oh. Oh. Encapsulates a truly magical experience for the senses. Nothing magical about opening this, though. Leave your nine to five behind and let your palate explore 
the rolling hills of the natural countryside. I'm going to go get one of my handy dandy openers. I will be back. I will get this open one way or another. Phew, that was a close one. I don't know what I wouldn't do without my handy dandy openers. That was a workout. It was like having a little aerobic workout here. I got my heart rate up. I'm good to go. So, um, that's my lip. It smells nice and scrumptious. I'll pour a little bit in my glass. There. And of course it says, let it sit 10 to 15 minutes. I don't have 10 to 15 minutes. It took me 10 to 15 minutes just to open it. All right, so it tells me, okay, yeah, let this wine sip for 10 to 18. Okay, so it says it's white peach, cantaloupe, lemon, white nectarine, and pear flavors. It says it's got a low sweetness. The acidity is medium to high. The tannins are low. The body is medium low. Alcohol, medium. Pairing guided. I just like it that it tells you what to pair it with. I had to go online to find out what it was. But it says uh, lemon meringue pie, fruit terrace, parmesan crackers. Oh, I had some the other day. And Rosetta Stone cassette tapes. Maybe because they want, you're want you going to want to go to Italy. Okay, stories behind the wine. The owners of the Cate Moschina vineyards regard the environment as their ultimate partner in wine, wine making. Their sprawling 16th century Venetian property hosts a variety of different soils that have been fertilized with everything from volcanic eruptions to natural limestone. True representatives of the Italian spirit, Cate Machina aims to pass along the stories and traditions of their homeland in every glass. Alrighty, so there you go. I'm gonna have a sip. Smells really good. And you would think with all those fruits in here, it would be sweet, but it really isn't sweet. And it's another dry wine. So I've had other Pinot Grugios that are a little bit sweeter than this, but I suppose everybody makes it different. Don't get me wrong. I'll drink this, baby. I worked for it. Oh, yeah, Patrick's got nothing on me. Feel those, look at those guns now. Yeah, I'll be lifting weights all day now. Oh, but anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. I appreciate your time. I know um, everybody's time is so valuable and whatever, but thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you know, and I hope uh, tomorrow's wine opening goes a little bit easier. So I'm going to come prepared with my handy dandy opener. I'm not going to have a mask that's going to block my vision. And I'm going to be good to go. So anyway, thanks everyone. I hope that you have a fantastic day. We'll chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye.